Back on Hitting Hard with John Chuck right here on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Head to YouTube, put Locked On Sports Atlanta in the search browser. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We are free and available on all of your favorite podcast platforms, including Spotify and Odyssey. And, of course, Amazon Fire and Roku now is where we can be found. Hit us up there at JMCH316 on my Twitter page. Look, there's two separate discussions to have. I know Zeno's been talking a lot about Spencer Strider has to be the number two in this and the other. There's a difference, though, in the Braves world. And you can like this, not like this, but I'm just telling you what the truth is, okay? There is what should be done and what will Snitker do, right? If everybody's got all those, you know, bands on and stuff like that, the rubber things around their wrist and all that stuff, you know, uh, WWSD, what would Snitker do? Because that has to be factored in. Now, look, Spencer Strider has been outstanding. and. I have no issues or no qualms with the idea of saying he should be the number two starter. He's deserved it. He's got swing and miss stuff. He's got all the analytical stuff that you could want for that number two starter. Max Fried to me is your ace. He is your proven track record ace. Regular season, playoffs, everything. So I'm handing him the ball in game one. Plus, he's a left-handed starter. I think there is something about that too. But he's your ace. So I'm not taking the ball out of his hands for a game one in a playoff, especially in a short series where that first game can be all the difference in the world. And I'll get into that about the Snitker factor on everything. But I have no problem handing the ball to Spencer Strider in game two. But since you don't manage the team, I don't manage the team, Zeno doesn't manage the team, the question becomes, will Snitker do that? So last year, obviously, Look, it wasn't that Freed was bad, and there wasn't a whole lot of difference between what Max Freed was and what Charlie Morton was. In 2020, Max Freed was your best pitcher and one of the best pitchers in all of Major League Baseball, and he got the ball in game one of all the series, right? Now, Freed didn't start off well last year, but by the end of last year, he was as good as anybody in baseball. Go look at his numbers in the second half of the season. He was outstanding last year in the second half. He was almost unhittable in the second half of last year. But Snicker gave Charlie Morton the ball. Not that that was a wrong decision or anything like that, but he trusts the veteran. Go back a few years in time, the Cardinals series, where Mike Soroka had a monster year, his best year by far in the majors, the last time we really saw him be that effective. And he had the best adjusted ERA in Major League Baseball. If you factor in ballparks and things like that, not just raw ERA, but if you take ballpark factors and things like that in where you're pitching, he had the best adjusted ERA in Major League Baseball. What did Snitker do? He went with the Bulldog. And I don't mean D-A-W-G, just the D-O-G, Dallas Keuchel. And he pitched him multiple starts in that short series against the Cardinals, and the Braves didn't win either game. Remember, Morton pitched game one of the Brewer series last year, and he didn't win that game. So I got no issue with Strider being number two. That That's not where this discussion is. I don't think it's really a matter of discussing does he deserve or not deserve. Yeah, it's it's there's no reason not to have that kind of case for Spencer Strider. You know, look, Kyle Wright had the big relief appearance last year in the playoffs, right, in the World Series that, that was huge. But when you talk about what Strider's meant to this team and what his stuff is and all that, it's not much of an argument. But that's not what it is. The argument is, what will Snitker do? Now, we'll talk more about this in just a second. But first, let me talk about my friends over at Coffee AM. Listen, the best small batch coffee roaster in America, you know, they're right here in the state of Georgia, up in the Canton area. I want you to head to coffeeam.com backslash locked on. Coffeeam.com backslash locked on. Go through their menu. You need K-Cups, they got it. You want organic coffee, they got it. You want flavored coffee, they got it. You need tea, they got that. You need a gift set, I got a party coming up, whatever like that. I want to celebrate the Braves now making the playoffs. Cool, here's a gift set that's available. So go through coffeeam.com's menu of products today. And when you get that first order put together, put the coupon code locked on at checkout. L O C K E D O N, locked on at checkout, and you get 15% off your first order. 15% off simply by using locked on as the promo code at checkout. Coffeeam.com. They are the best small batch coffee roaster in America. Love those folks. 
So again, it's the what will Snitker do factor in, in all of this, right? I mean, that's that's what this comes down to. Now, if you say that Strider, you know, for instance, if they're the wild card team, you're going to play a three game series, right? In the wild card round, best two out of three. All right, Freed's going to get a start. You're only going to have three starters at that point. You will certainly will need a four star. So when, once you get to the divisional round, championship round, World Series, okay, then you got to have four starters. Then then that's easy because it's Freed, Wright, Strider, Morton. We're good there. Ian Anderson's not pitching the rest of this year. We don't have to worry about that. We're not going to worry about Oda Rizzi making a start or anything like that, right? We got our four guys. And, you know, look, the way the baseball schedule is, it's not a whole lot of off time and things like that in between road trips and all that. But that will be the easy part. But I, look, Max Fried will be game one. What he does game two will be interesting. Should he pitch Strider game two? Yeah. Now, if he goes with Kyle Wright, who's going to have 20, 21 wins and a barely three ERA or below, that's not exactly like he's trotting out, with all due respect, Dallas Keuchel, who at best was mediocre that year for the Braves. At, be I'll, at, at best, he was a mediocre pitcher. He sure as hell wasn't as good as what Mike Soroka was that year. That should have been a no-brainer. This is where you hope that Snitker has learned about managing the roster as far as what to do. Snitker was obviously terrific last year in the playoffs. And you have to trust and believe in whatever decision that he makes. Again, these are first-world problems to have. These are good things to have. When I have to pick between who should be the co-rookie of the year and maybe the only 20-game winner in Major League Baseball, those are good decisions to have, All right? Whew. I'm going to eat steak tonight. Do I want New York strip or filet mignon, right? Those are good decisions to have in life. Not, you know what? I ain't got money for groceries. It's either tuna helper or, you know, macaroni helper. So these are first world problems that Brian Snicker has to deal with. Obviously, in a short series, it will be Strider, Wright, and Free. That will be the three guys. I don't think Morton is going to pitch in that. If he does, it'll be a surprise, I think. And look, Morton is getting some things figured out. I thought he pitched pretty well last night. He's going to be a 200 strikeout pitcher. I think I don't think people really appreciate Morton's career and the numbers that he's put up for his whole career. Tampa, Braves, Pittsburgh, everywhere else that, that he's been. But he'll certainly get his shot in the next, you know, you get through the wild card round, or if you end up winning the division and end up with one of the top two or three seeds, then you know, you you, you won't have to play in that first round. But either way. Will Strider get the ball in game two? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think it's as simple as just saying, well, he deserves it. Sure. I don't have a problem arguing that case. I'll back you on that. But the manager has his things that he likes. What have we always said about Brian Snicker? The greatest attribute that he has, his loyalty, is also his biggest fault when it comes to handling players. I'll give Snicker the benefit of the doubt. I'll trust in that whatever decision, if he pitches Kyle Wright in a game two, Strider, fine. At the end of the day, you know, the Braves have one of the best rotations in baseball. If I have Strider, Freed, and Kyle Wright, I'm good to go. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk to our buddy Gabe Burns. We're going to talk some more Braves baseball with him, feature writer for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. He'll help me break it all down. Hitting hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.